The objective of this simple example is to have Rick and Morty appear after three seconds of the game starting. To do this, we're simply going to create a script and call it delay. In the script, I've already written all of the necessary components to spawn Rick and Morty, but there is no delay. Let's just go ahead and try it out really quick. Let's press play and see what happens. Rick and Morty appears right away, but there is no delay. The first way we're going to look at is by using the invoke method. This is very easy. Simply write invoke, and then in the parentheses, you're going to add these little curly brackets and put the name of your function. Mine is called spawn delay. After that, just put a comma and the amount of seconds you want it to wait. I would like it to wait three seconds, and that's it. Okay, let's try it out. One, two, three. And there's Rick and Morty. Okay, the next one is using the coroutine. This one is a little bit more involved, but I highly recommend that you learn it. It is way more practical and also performance friendly. Okay, whenever I'm doing a coroutine, I like to think about it as two steps. The first one is to go to my function and take the void and replace it with what's called a I enumerator. You don't have to worry about what this does as it is outside the scope of this video. Now, right above what I want my function to do, I'm going to write yield return new wait four seconds and in here i'm going to write inside the parentheses the amount of seconds i want to wait which is three okay the second step is to go where you usually call your function which is my spawn delay and here we're going to add a start core routine and put the function inside some brackets and that's it you're all done let's go ahead and try it out play one two three and there's Rick and Morty. And voila, you now have two different ways to create a delay inside your functions. And you might be wondering to yourself at this point, why did I take the time to show you what a coroutine does when the invoke was so much easier? Well, the coroutine has a lot of advantages. You can pass parameters through it. You can customize it a lot better. It is more performance friendly among a lot of other things as well. Well, allow me to show you in a game we're currently prototyping. You'll notice that every three seconds, a box will spawn here. Next, we'll need to go ahead and grab a gnome and fabricate him, which will take some time. Then we need to paint him the right color and match it to this box up here. This will also take some time. Whenever that's completed, we can pick him up and grab him and put him in the box. Let's go have a look inside the color machine script. Here we can see that we are using the core routine and one of the main advantage that I really like is that I can put some script to happen before waiting the three seconds and then some more script to happen after waiting three seconds. And this all happens inside my paint gnome function, which I can then call with start core routine, which is very flexible.